Here are seven tips every senior should know about their iPhone. Now, I'm gonna walk you through a number of tips, including how to stop getting those spam calls, spam text messages, how to have your iPhone help you in case there's an emergency that you need help. I'm also gonna walk you through a number of different things to make your iPhone more usable and user-friendly. I'll walk you through all of that, but first, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now let's head into the settings app on your iPhone. So after you've opened up the settings app, we're gonna scroll to the very bottom and tap on apps at the bottom. Now from here, we're gonna scroll down until you find the messages section. The reason for this is we're gonna make sure you're not getting spam text messages, or at least you're filtering them out. So from your messages settings, you're gonna scroll down and we're gonna turn on screen unknown senders and turn on filter spam. Both of these will prevent any kind of spam or fraudulent or scam text messages that get to your iPhone. However, let's do the same thing for your phone as well for phone calls. So tap the back button and then scroll down and tap on phone. After you've done that, all you need to do is scroll down because we're gonna do a couple things. We're gonna turn on call filtering for unknown callers as well as spam calls. Now you can also choose to screen unknown callers if you wanna either silence them or ask for the reason why they're calling on your iPhone. Now we've done that, let's go back out here now that we know that you're protected from those spam calls and text messages, let's make sure your iPhone can help you in case there's an emergency. So let's scroll down here and you can see emergency SOS, tap on that. Now you can see call and hold to, or call with hold and release. So you can continually hold the side button and either volume button, and then it will call emergency services. This is really helpful if you need 911 or an ambulance to come and get you. But another one that is really helpful is call after a severe crash. So if that's turned off, I would highly recommend keeping this on or turning this on. Essentially, your iPhone will detect if you're in a large crash or you fall. Sometimes it will essentially trigger a detection that will call emergency services. And you can see at the very bottom here is emergency contacts. You might wanna tap edit emergency contacts and just go through the process of setting up those emergency contacts associated with you. And in addition to that, you can always add medications, emergency um, contacts, pregnancy, photo, all of that stuff. Now, after we've done that, let's go back to the very beginning of your settings and then hop out of here. Tap on the messages section at the very bottom or the messages app. And from here, you can just tap on a conversation with somebody and then tap on the little plus right next to it. Now from here, you can always send your location to somebody. This is really helpful if you want to share your location so that they'll know where you are and how to find you in case there's any kind of issue or emergency or in case you get lost or need help with directions. Again, this is a really helpful thing or if you're just curious to know where someone else is and you want them to be able to know where you are as well. The next thing I'll walk you through is how to increase the font size and the display size on your iPhone. So let's go back into the settings app and we're back at the very beginning again. From the very beginning, we can scroll down, tap on display and brightness. And now from here, scroll down and you can see display zoom at the very bottom. I can tap on that and I can choose larger text here. This will zoom into everything and make everything a bit bigger. You can also go back out here and you can go back again and tap on accessibility and then you can tap on display and text size. From here, you can choose to bold text. You can also go into larger text and bump up the size of all of the text on your iPhone. Now, after you've done that, let's bring it back to just regular now. Another cool feature that you might want to use is to double tap the back of your iPhone to get to somewhere that you regularly use, like taking a screenshot or going home or making a call, etc. So on the general settings of your iPhone, let's scroll down, tap on accessibility. 
And then from here, you're gonna scroll down and tap on touch. You'll be able to see at the very bottom is back tap. Just tap on that. Now from here, I really like the double tap and you can set this to certain things like home. So that means if I double tap on the back of my iPhone, you'll be able to see it brings me back home. Or of course you can set it to different things like lock the screen or take a screenshot or turn the volume up or turn the volume down, a bunch of different things you can use that back tap for, it's really convenient. Now the last thing that I would recommend doing is let's go back to the very beginning of your settings here. In the very beginning of the settings, you'll see at the very bottom is a search bar. In addition for that, if you're in the main home screen, you can swipe down and get to a search bar. You'd be surprised how easy and convenient the search functionality is on your iPhone. So if you need to search for something like FaceTime, I wanna make a FaceTime call. Let's say you can't find the FaceTime app or you need to find a certain file or do something on your iPhone, you can always search for it in here. Now on here, you can either do that in the basically general part to search for an app, but you can also do that in the settings. For instance, if you forgot, hey, how do I increase the font size? I can always just type in font size or there we go, font, and then go into these fonts and make it bigger or it might be set to big, bigger text. Here we go, large cursor or large cursor under accessibility. Essentially, you can search for what you want, and a lot of times it pops up with helpful options in terms of getting to it easy without having to know beforehand how to navigate to it. Again, if this is helpful, hit that subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys.